Hello friends and thank you for coming back to watch this video. So the colors for today starting from um, the first row left corner. Um, Stay Low Blue by Liquitec Basics. Then we have Iridescent Copper by Golden. Then we have Light Stay Low Green by Golden. Then we have um, Ma Master's Touch Gold. And then we have 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. And then the top row we have um, Dioxazine Purple by Golden. We have um, Master's Touch uh, Milky White. Then we have Master's Touch also um, Light Magenta. Then we have um, Master's Touch Crimson. Then we have Liquitec Basics Cadmium Yellow uh, Medium Hue. And then we have Liquitec Basics um, Fluorescent Orange. Um, we have uh, uh, not fluorescent orange, fluorescent pink, and then we have Liquitec Basics Cadmium Orange Hue. Then we have Liquitec Basics um, Brilliant Purple, and then Liquitec Basics um, Light Blue, and then last but not least, Arteza with uh, the Pearl Papaya. So we dirty uh, pour our cup. Um, we used all the colors um, and we actually started with the light blue, which seems to have made a huge difference. So um, I ran out of um, the pee pad, so now I am just trying to utilize um, half of a pee pad. So <laughs> this is creating some chaos in my in my brain, although it really has nothing to do with this. It's still making it very difficult. Even my magnifying um, or magnification system is um, acting up. So um, I'm going to try to just not worry about all this stuff and just pour. Um, but as soon as I figure out the magnification, um, because it um, without this system, then it, it's hard for me to see anything. So um, I rigged this up um, utilizing my in former engineer um, mind and it works really well when it wants to uh, but every so often I'll have a glitch and it throws everything off. I mean it's super simple but um, it throws me off. But anyhow, so let's, um, <laughs> let's forget about this. Um, maybe adjust the camera a little bit and then um, get ready to pour. So today I'm going to use a really just straight out straight pour and I'm not going to move it. Um, it's not going to be a wandering pour. It's just a straight pour. Um, and it may be that I use way too much of the uh, fluorescent pink. Um, or maybe it's a fluorescent orange. No, it was the orange. It was the cam cadmium orange hue. So this um, this fluorescent pink is driving me crazy on in the cup. But I'm just hoping that it gives me a little bit of orange stuff so that um, because I'm trying to um, create a piece for my mom. Um, she loves orange. Um, so I'm utilizing um, my drippings from the previous pour as um, the, I guess, the, the base, not the base, but more like the pad where I'm going to, um, for where I'm going to do my straight pour. So here we go. Fingers crossed that the Pink Goddess uh, gives us something uh, unique and wonderful. So here we go. Okay, wait. Well, yeah, let's go. Let's go. We, we're ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's, let's do this. So from the top so that it blends and then going up and down. Uh, when it's up it blends more and when it's down then it'll give me more fingerlings and so what i'm trying to do is get a little bit i <laughs> i want to have my cake and eat it too right so i want it to blend but at the same time i also wanted to have some interesting sort of um design so um i started at the top uh, which um, guarantees that my colors blend more and then i ended with um 
uh, like much lower, closer to the bottom. So that way I'm able to get fingerlings and um, it looks kind of like a tree right now. Um, so I don't care. I'm not going to put any floor extender because um, the stuff that I am interested in is really in the middle. So I'm not, I don't really necessarily... I, you know, wouldn't be upset if, um, <laughs> the sides sort of like runs underneath itself. So, um, like I said, I'm wanting uh, to keep the stuff that's right in the middle. And so it's okay if, you know, if I lose, um, the outside stuff. So, um, now I'm going to begin by tilting from one side to the other, just to try to open up some of those colors and just really take a look to see what um what i have in terms of the composition um what i could do differently next time is let it rest as soon as i i pour it let it rest a little bit so that you know it you know the composition has uh, some time to develop because i really started tilting right away but that is neither here nor there um at this point i should just concentrate on tilting this um piece um so it's really interesting because when it when i first um poured it and i knew i wanted to keep the middle part but i didn't really realize uh, what i had now, this is super interesting um it's beginning to look like like spinal cord right or is that just me no i think well let's see well the bottom certainly um of the light blue um uh, part does definitely look like the bottom of like a bunch of roots of a tree um but the more more most interesting part really is is what's above it and on the side it totally it totally looks like vertebrae you know it's just oh my gosh it's honestly um when you're doing this type of art it um it truly is amazing that by combining um different paints uh in different f formats you're able to achieve these amazing um, surprise um, compositions and um, so yeah so the beauty of this one was that um, or I, I think what made it really successful is um, the dirty pour um, yeah in you know starting like I said starting with a light color um, and and then surrounding it with like a darker color so that there's some contrast and then after that it was just uh, you know just the paint goddess um allowed us to to um blend some of these colors together um like uh, like you see here i didn't put any green in the piece but there's certainly green in here um and i think it's um the yellow uh the gold and um, the thalo blue and probably the, even the light blue uh, combined to make this deep, deep green. And, and then I have areas where, I, where there's actually thalo blue, which is my favorite color. Um, and it just looks stunning. Um, now, I don't like this, um, <laughs> what um, I think Karen from Waterfall Acrylics calls it bikini corner um it just i'm not i'm not i'm not loving it yeah i think i'm gonna i'm gonna um tilt off that corner it's, it's bothering me somehow I mean like I said I like the gradient that it was achieved like but it um yeah it bothers me so I think it's a little distracting so I am gonna well let me let me take a look at it in, in different angles to see if 
maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it. No, it needs to come off. Okay, let's let's just take it off. Um, I have plenty of paint, so um, this should be no problem. So yeah, I'm mean, still sort of questioning you because it does the pink does balance um, the piece from the other side, but it's so distracting. Yeah, let's just take it off. Take it off. It's already already beginning to look awesome. So now let's just bring back the composition towards the middle. And then we'll take a look. Let's see. Anytime that I see like a painting um, that has like um, a spinal cord on it, it makes me think of Frida Kahlo and her famous um, uh, self portrait. Now let's go in for a close up. Um, here you'll see. You know, sort of the beauty of uh, the straight pour from the very top. Look at all this blending of colors and it just looks amazing. You know, I wasn't looking for green or anything like that, but I love it. I mean, it just works here um, because of the focus of the painting, which is the, the spinal cord. This green could be like you know I don't know <laughs> the vial um, from the gallbladder or the common the common docks that goes into the liver you know you know it really works I like the green works um, you know maybe I'm thinking too much of my anatomy books but <laughs> but I really like it so this to me this seems like it's almost like the inner an inner look of the body from the, you know, obviously the inside because this is the inner look. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, this is such a gift. Um, because all I did was basically pour the, the colors into this cup and the pink goddess decided to give me uh, this blessing in this piece so yes I love this it's amazing um, it's not orange I was looking for an orange piece for my mom but um, it's okay because it's absolutely stunning and it's just I'm so amazed at how much this looks like like the vertebrae in the back because it even has like the little horns on the side is so amazing wow well thank you so much for coming to uh, watch this video i hope you like it um, if you do please give me a thumbs up and subscribe see you in the next one